Hi everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am doing a video about what I spend in a week, which is basically just exposing myself for how much money I spend. And honestly, I'm a little, I'm like really surprised by how much money I spend in a week because when I started to tally up this number, I was like, oh, I barely, I didn't buy like anything this week um, until Saturday. I knew I spent a lot of money on Saturday, but it is Sunday. So I have been like tracking what I've spent for since last Sunday. So I'm gonna go Sunday to Saturday. So let's just jump into it. One thing I wanted to mention before I kind of like go through all the numbers is that I didn't um, pay rent in this week. I didn't really have any like I didn't have my car expense. My bangs are literally gonna drive me nuts this whole freaking video. Um, didn't really have, I had like one bill come through but that was like about it. Um, and then I also didn't write down every time I saved. So I have like kind of a interesting saving schedule. So if you want me to make a video that's more all encompassing about how much rent I pay, how I pay my rent, um, how I save. I wouldn't say I'm good at it, but I think it might just, I think it's interesting learning how people save and how people manage money. So more than happy to make that video if you wanna know about that. But this is what happened this week. So I started on Sunday, which was November 1st. I um, went grocery shopping at Trader Joe's. I split that with my roommate. I have this all like written down, so I'll just read off of it. Um, I split groceries with my roommate, so it cost me about $30. Um, and then I bought a dog tag off Amazon for my dog for Christmas. So that was $10.76. Um, that still hasn't come or else I would show it to you. Um, and then that night, my roommate and I ordered Pazookis from BJ's. So Sunday was pretty much no money spending until that night when I bought a Pazuki and the dog tag and then grocery shopping has to be done. So I wouldn't even say that was like a luxurious expense um, because we're really good about grocery shopping. I made a whole video um, about grocery shopping as an adult and how we meal prep. So um, I'll link that up in the card so you guys can watch that. But yeah, so on Sunday, I spent a total of $52.76. On Monday, I got charged for an H&M order that I ordered a month ago, but it had just shipped and so it just charged me. So that um, I ended up returning one of the things. So that ended up costing me $34.20. The next thing was we went to Fry's, which is another grocery store, it's a Kroger. And my cut of that was $27, um, which I feel like groceries were really cheap this week. Some weeks we go where we have like, where I spend like, I don't know, like $100 on groceries for myself. And then some weeks it's like this where it's like 60-ish dollars on groceries. So that kind of depends on the week and what I'm out of and that kind of stuff. But yeah, $27 at Fry's. <laughs> the next thing I bought a phone case off of Amazon, which I actually have. It's this cute reindeer one. Um, and this phone case cost me $8.64. So not terrible, but I don't know if it was a necessary <laughs> purchase, but it's cute. And then I also had to run to CVS on Monday to grab um, some stuff. And so that cost me $15.12. Bringing my Monday total to $84.94, which again, like I feel like I didn't spend that much money on Monday, but that's like almost $100. I think it's because I forgot about the H&M order and I didn't realize that they hadn't charged me yet. So feels kind of cheating, but I'm still gonna count it because it did charge me this week. On Tuesday, November 3rd, the election, um, I ordered, cookies um i didn't notice that i haven't bought coffee yet um i'm pretty good about making my coffee from home nowadays i used to be a cereal spender where i would spend like five to six dollars a day on coffee so i've gotten a lot better at that but the only thing that i purchased well not the only thing but i purchased cookies <laughs> i ordered cookies that night because i was in distraught so that cost me fifteen dollars and fifty seven cents and then um, my roommate and I split a bark box for our dogs. And so that cost $18 for my split of that. And she charged me for that on the third. So my total for Tuesday was $33.57. <sighs> on Wednesday the 4th, um, I ended up getting coffee because 
election night was rough. Um, so I got coffee at my local coffee shop and that cost me $9.08. I think I also got like a muffin or something. Um, so yeah, that was $9.08. And then that day I also got charged for web hosting for my blog. So go check out my blog because it cost me $30 a month to keep it running. So that was $30. Um, and then I bought my boss um, a dog toy for her dog that my dogs love. So that cost $9. And then um, because it was the day after the election, I sent a few of my friends coffee, like sent them like Venmos and said, get a coffee on me because it was just a dumb and stressful day. So that cost $18 in total. And then because I'm an idiot, um, like a week ago, I, so I get eyelash extensions. I didn't get them this week, but that's a normal expense I have every two weeks. Um, but I flushed my lash cleanser down the toilet and I still don't even know how I did it, but doesn't matter. So I had to go buy a new lash cleanser for my girl and that was $25. So not a lot of glamorous things on Wednesday, but I ended up spending $91.08, which with the web hosting and the lash cleanser, that was more than half of it to begin with. So Thursday I went, I think I went to the office, so I didn't end up spending any money except for I got charged for my half of the internet and that was $53. Our internet is stupid expensive and when we move out of this apartment, we're gonna get a different internet plan. But anyway, my internet bill came in, it was $53. My total for Thursday was $53. <laughs> Friday was um, obviously the end of my work week. So I went, um, well, actually it's funny, we ran out of milk. So my roommate like Venmoed me money and said, this is for coffee because we ran out of milk. So I ended up getting me and her and, um, coffee and I got like a muffin or something. And so um, my coffee and muffin cost $5.46. Um, again, local coffee shop, not a Starbucks, supporting local trying to justify my coffee purchase. Um, and then that night I was honestly too distraught to cook and didn't want to cook even though we had planned for me to cook. Um, so we ended up getting takeout and I got Indian food and that cost uh, $25.02. So my total for Friday was $30.48. And all of that was spent on food, which I'm realizing is a lot of what I spend money on is takeout and coffee. So that was Friday. Saturday was yesterday and far and beyond any day that I've spent money. Um, I had a lot of errands to run. I was out a lot and it's just easier to spend money when you know, like that, like saying like an object in motion stays in motion. So we were in motion this day and we spent money. <laughs> First thing we went to the mall and I returned one of the things I got from H&M, but I ended up spending $35.55 on I think two, I think I got two new sweaters. This is one of them. I think it's really cute. It definitely fits my vibe. So no regrets there. $35.55 for two sweaters isn't bad at all. So spent that. Um, next thing I went and got my friend a birthday gift and that was $31.26. Then after we went to the mall, um, we were trying to kill time because we were gonna go to this like open house thing, but we didn't end up going, but we were trying to kill time. So we went to Chop Shop and got lunch. I got a sandwich and I've actually been craving a sandwich all week, so I don't even regret it, but it was $10, oh no, $12 and 81 cents. Um, I think it was like 10, but then I tipped $2, so I wanted to count that. So $12 and 81 cents at Chop Shop. Then the next thing we went to Costco, we needed Ziploc bags, garbage bags, and dog food. And so my half of that was $30 and 25 cents. Um, again, that's more like what I consider an essential purchase because we needed all of those things. It's not like we bought anything frivolous at Costco, but also at Costco, I like to get gas there because it's a lot cheaper. So gas was $20 and 61 cents. Going slightly out of order, that morning, we went to the farmer's market after we went to the dog park and I got a coffee and two Pop-Tarts from my friend Michelle at Early Bird, and that cost me $13.50. And then I also got a little loaf of sourdough bread at the market, which was $5. So the total for Saturday was $148.98. Um, I was like, I need to reflect on that much money, on how much money I spent on that day, but honestly, like, H&M wasn't a need, but everything else, 
I basically needed to spend that money. I always buy coffee on the weekends. That's pretty much a solid. It's Sunday and I have a coffee. I almost always buy coffees on the weekends. Um, my dog needed food. We needed trash bags. So my Costco stuff, very valid. I needed gas. I had to get my friend a birthday gift. I wanted to get my friend a birthday gift. Um, and then Chop Shop was probably my only other like, I didn't need it, but I got it expense. So if you've been adding up at home while I've been talking, then you'll know my total. But my total for this week was $494.81. Um, I am super shocked by this number. <laughs> um, and this wasn't even a week where I really had any big expenses. Um, but it just really shows you all those little things that you purchase really do add up. I bought a bunch of stuff that was like, oh, $30 here, $30 here. Um, and it totaled almost $500, which is a lot of money. Um, but again, that was groceries and my internet hosting and my internet. And so, um, yeah, that's, that's the number of what I spend in a week on a random week. If you guys wanna see a video where I have bills or I talk through what credit cards I use, what debit cards I use, how I manage my money, definitely leave a comment down below. I also am challenging my roommate to do this video. So Caitlin, if you're watching this, do this challenge. I would love to see it um, because I think we're both really bad about realizing how much we're spending in a week. So anyway, hope you found this interesting. Um, like this video, subscribe if you aren't already, and I will see you guys in my next one. Making it brighter, right through the gray.